All right, guys, uh, this is Mr. Earth here. I just want to show um, my pre-calculus classes how to make the Ferris wheel on GeoGebra. So I have GeoGebra started up, and I've got my graphics panel on the right side, the algebra panel on the left side. I'm going to start off by adjusting the axes a little bit to make it a little bit more realistic because we want the units to actually represent feet. So I'm going to come over here, grab uh, the Move Graphics view, move it here, Pull. I'm hovering over the y-axis so I get the little double arrowed cursor, dragging it down, making it something in the 20s. At this stage, if I were to do a circle, it would look kind of ovally. Um, you'll see here, if I actually go to circle mode right here and put a circle down, it looks kind of ovally. Um, that's because I've skewed my axes a little bit here. So what I actually need to do is change it to make it be a uh, one-to-one. -one. So I'm going to Go back here to default move mode, right click on the screen, change the ratio from x and y axis to be 1 to 1, and there we go, there's my uh, circle. But unfortunately now I'm kind of off the screen a little bit, so I'm going to pull my circle down, and actually I've changed my mind, I'm going to... Uh, squeeze in the x-axis a little bit more. So I'm going to hover over here, pull this down a little more, and you can play with this on your own as well. And I'm going to move this off to the side and again rescale the axes. Oops. Okay, not crazy about it, but uh, that'll work. Okay, so um, there's my Ferris wheel. I'm going to go ahead and relabel these points. So I'm going to relabel A as the center. And I'm going to relabel B as controlling the radius. So I'll just relabel it as radius. And I'm going to relabel the circle itself as Ferris. And I'm going to put a point on the circle. And that's going to be the loading point. So I'll relabel that as loading. And oops, I hit an apostrophe there on mistake. So I'm going to rename that and delete out that apostrophe. And I'm going to create a parameter for time. So I'll start off with time equal 5. And I'm going to right click on it and move over to slider. And make the time actually go from 0 to 20, I think is what we did in class. And I'm going to change the repeating thing to be, instead of oscillating, to increase once. And when I'm done, I'm going to exit out. And one way we know we've done it right is I can push my circle here to make it blue, and it shows up as a slider. When I drag it down, it goes 0 all the way up to 20, just like we wanted. Okay, and I can move that slider over here. It's a little more visible. All right. Uh, the other thing I need to do is make a, another parameter for the speed of rotation. So I'm going to call that my speed. And I'm just going to start off with it being 50 degrees. And again, the important bit is to make sure you actually have the degree symbol. So to do the degree symbol, you got to click on the symbol box, and there's the degree symbol right there. I'm going through this kind of fast because we already did this in class today. This is just if you need a refresher, you need to go back. So, and let's make it visible. There it is. I'm going to move it off to the side. All right. And now we need the uh, cart that you're actually going to ride in. So to do that, we're going to create it as a rotation of where you actually load in. So to do that, we come up here. Oops, sorry. No, I lied. We come up here to where it says reflect about line. But we have to change the submenu to reflection. We need to change it to be rotate around point. So we come up right here. So notice it looked a little bit like the angle symbol. That's why I confused it uh, for a minute there. But all right. So to rotate, if you highlight, if you mouse hover over it, it tells you first you need to select the object you're going to rotate, then the center point, and then enter the angle. So I'm going to click first on the loading spot. Then I'll click on the center of the Ferris wheel. And oops, apparently I. Click, double clicked it there. I'm going to start over again because I misclicked. So one more time. I click on rotate around point, click loading, click center. It asks me what angle, and the angle is actually going to be time times my speed. 
So time, oops, gets rid of that 45 degrees there, time, and then the multiplication symbol in GeoGebra is just a space bar. So time, space, which means times, my speed. And boom. The default is to call it loading prime, so let's rename that as cart. And you can see if we move the time to zero, that means you just got on, you loaded on, they're kind of overlapped on each other. And then as time progresses, the cart moves around, and every time you minute, it's going to move 50 degrees. So it's going to spin around almost three times. All right. Um, the only, oops, sorry. The only other thing left is um, to make the segment that's going to measure the vertical height. So there's a couple of ways to do that. I think the easiest way for us is going to be to use the perpendicular line tool. Sorry, I keep clicking that. So uh, go to this button right here where it says perpendicular line, click it, and then click on the point, click on the x-axis. Make sure it says in red x-axis there so you know you're actually on the x-axis. So there's my perpendicular line, but I only want a segment of it. So I come over here to the line tool and go to the submenu for segment. And I click on the cart, and I hover over here again to where it says um, the line and the x-axis as well. Okay, so there's the segment. Is the segment there? I think I missed the segment. Let me do it one more time. Segment there to there. There it is, there's the segment. All right, at this stage, I can actually hide the original perpendicular line. So I'm going to go over here and click that blue dot so it hides it. So there's the segment I was really interested in. And notice over here in the algebra panel, it tells you the length of the segment is 2.46. So as time goes by, I'm going to, oops, got to be in move mode, not segment mode. As time goes by, let me delete that point I just made. As time goes by, the cart moves around. And you can see your height off the ground grows and shrinks and goes and shrinks. So let's just make a little text box here that tells us what's going on. So if I want to make a text box, I come over here to text, click anywhere in the white space to tell it where to put it. And now we just type our sets and say the cart is currently, and the segment's called B. So I got to come over here to objects, select a lowercase b. Feet off the ground. And so as time goes by, it's updating that. And the one thing, I'm going to just pretty it up a little bit with some colors. So I'm going to take this font, go object properties, take the text, and change it from small to large, change its color, make it red. Do the same thing with the segment right here. So I'm going to right click, object properties, make it red, go to style, change the thickness, make it dotted. So far it looks like this. And um, maybe I'll also change the circle, make it kind of greenish. So object properties, color, actually, yeah, green. And if we want, we can even fill in the circle a little bit. I'm dragging the opacity. All right. So last but not least, I'm going to set the time to be zero. I'm going to animate it. So to animate it, I right click on time. I think it's easier to do it in the uh, algebra panel. And click animation on. And there's the cart going around the Ferris wheel. And the numbers are updating. So that's it. I hope that made sense. That pretty much is what we did in class today. So go ahead and have this ready for the next class, and we'll continue from that point on.